Bennington show, and he finally got in the door. Oh, my God. It's Anthony Cumia. Anthony, what's happening, buddy? Thank you. Wonderful to be here. Uh, yeah, I got held up down there, uh, security. I come to see Ron Bennington. They got me waiting in the lobby. <laughs> this is like me trying to get into Canada. The same shit happens. Yeah. It's uh, it, it, the security down there. Is, I guess they're just doing their job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like like the people at Auschwitz, <laughs> they were just just following orders. Good Germans. I like a security guard that's dressed like a monorail pilot from Disney too. That, their getup is adorable, isn't it? And, and they're they're the ones telling me, you know, I'm persona non grata. Apparently, uh, you spell my name Anthony Cumia. He's not allowed in the building. Right. You put Cumia, comma Anthony. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Come in. So that guy's it's, different. Yeah, yeah. It's a computer glitch. That's how Manson Charlie got to me. That <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Let him up. Uh... <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Charlie. <laughs> You're allowed up. The AA show is live uh, Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. Compoundmedia.com. You and Artie Lang. Artie are together. Lang. It's, yeah. uh, it's just a. Uh, a match made uh, in somewhere other than heaven, <laughs> but uh, it's wonderful. It's, yeah. it, I mean, the guy is one of the funniest guys uh, ever, for, especially for the format of radio. Right. Any kind of, you know, just seat of your pants broadcasting. The guy's hilarious. I remember the day that we introduced it uh, when you finally announced me and Jimmy were sitting around for two hours waiting. <laughs> yes. And then he comes in and just fucking crushes all three of us. Yeah. I mean, I looked around and everybody else is just pounding the fucking thing. And that's that's Artie. He's just, uh, you know, he's he's been on the biggest radio show that ever was. Yeah. And uh, it's an amazing combination. Uh, it did a lot, a lot, especially yesterday's show, reminded me a lot of uh, the old days here yeah. when I would have to just cringe hide my face and try to keep the guest in their seat right and not have somebody chase them out of there <laughs> uh yesterday we had chris hansen on of course from to catch a predator and right. uh, mm -hmm. one, one of the greatest reality shows ever <laughs> uh and and artie's just sitting there and i'm cringing he has to do you fuck kids what do you do you fuck kids <laughs> <laughs> so not not oh familiar with the not entire... quite familiar. He knows yeah. something about kid touching right. and right. Chris Hansen. That's all he really and I knew like about. That that could get him a show. Yeah, he touch yeah. kids. You got to show what happened. And then he he arrests himself. <laughs> yeah, right. And then you come in. You have all your guests arrested. <laughs> terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> Honey, yeah. why didn't you take that from me? You know I like to watch that show. <laughs> yeah, and he told uh, he told him that uh, Jared from Subway is a good friend of his. <laughs> he was just really playing up the whole kid yeah. angle thing with uh, Chris Hansen, and <laughs> and I would have to jump in and ask a legitimate question right. and kind of refocus uh, Chris Hansen. And uh, I remember when um, Fez and I would book those really bad remember you used to get those booklets of really bad fucking people <laughs> yes. and then we would book them on the show and then we would all do the phone calls like i would ask him about their thing of oh they're the illuminati is running the catholic church and all right let's go to the phones and it would just <laughs> it would just be <laughs> us pounding this <laughs> and then i would be keeping them on at the same time yes. and i don't know how he got through and that was all of our guests. That was 100% of right. our guests. That would that would constantly happen. Yeah. We would give the the signal to the callers. <laughs> it's like, and remember, people, serious questions only. Oh, yeah, yeah. Serious was, questions was... only. And they would start calling up. Yeah, and your mission as the host yeah. is to keep the, yeah, the guy keep from, from hanging running. up, yeah. literally from hanging up on you. It was uh, uh, one time we had um, Donald Rumsfeld on the phone. When right. He had his book come out. And this, you know, the Secretary of Defense, one of the most powerful men in the world during the uh, Bush administration. And uh, uh, Louis C.K. was in there. And Louis would just ask him, uh, are you a lizard person? <laughs> I've seen on the Internet that you and a lot of these upper echelon people are actually lizards. And and I'd be there, uh, Mr. Rumsfeld, now during the yeah. first uh, Gulf War when... The, uh, yeah, so uh, I saw pictures where your your eyelid comes in from the side, <laughs> and it's it's goddamn you know Donald Rumsfeld. I'm trying to keep him on the line, and that was so much fun. And right. uh, 
You know, that definitely yesterday reminded me of, uh, but, of that. But it's different if the person is there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Like it, you can do anything to somebody oh, on the phone. We're so brave right? Uh, yeah, when the, on when the, the phone, guest yeah. is on the phone. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> but to have that person sitting in front of you and see them either angry or hurt right. or, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You're a person, I'm too. sure you both have had experiences where <sighs> a guest, like, it goes sideways and the All guest the, is yeah, in the room. Yeah. Ooh, and that's Steve always. the Whistler was a big one. <laughs> We had a guy who's who's uh, how we why did we book these guests? Yeah, right. <laughs> Remember that yeah. it was Steve the Whistler. It was a guy that uh, apparently won some type of whistling contest, and we thought that would make a good guest. <laughs> and he came on and he had a CD of the music <laughs> that he would whistle to. Yeah. And uh, Opie's job was to put that on and and let him whistle. And uh, he kept stopping the CD and then blaming the CD player. <laughs> and the guy had to start. He restarted his whistling song. Probably ten to fifteen times, and I had to, I had to run behind the equipment. I couldn't face this guy any right. any longer. But uh, yeah, th those were great uh, for well, those shitty guests. Who was guests. The, the guy that? I mean, this was actually a good guest. The guy from Blade Runner, me, you, and Fez. Oh, a classic. Were Rutger Hauer. Yeah. Rutger Hauer. And we were just letting it go oh, on and on. And then we started to leave one at a time. I just left <laughs> Rutger Hauer alone on New York City. Fucking giant <laughs> stick. Millions of fucking people out there. And just left him alone in the studio. And why? This is a great why actor. Why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason <laughs> to disrespect no this man. Reason. You said Ant was the... Um... The coffee repairman who was just hanging out in there. I was just <laughs> hanging out, and, and, and I was the one that was asking him questions about his movies. And, yeah. and, and he started throwing pencils and pens at me. <laughs> I was having pencils and pens thrown at me by Rutger Hauer. Fucking unbelievable. So, it's very surreal. Yeah. It was uh, it was just the atmosphere that I think made us do things like that. Right? Yeah, the atmosphere yeah. of a fucking pirate ship that was on <laughs> yeah. fire and sinking. <laughs> Isn't that it? Yeah, that was it. And yet, uh, if you were to write the book, that's that's the fucking book mm -hmm. that you would write. You know. Um, <laughs> the, uh, all right, the AA show. Now you and Artie and was Artie. Because I had heard that there was a couple of people who thought they were getting the show. Uh, I don't know what the controversy is yeah. here. I mean, uh, yeah, ever since I started, we were kind of thinking of a co-host. Right. I don't mind doing a show by myself. Right. I just ramble on for yeah. two hours about, uh, you know, the Clintons or something. Yeah. Uh, I w but in order to g kind of get away from just my point of view, right. which can be a little toxic at times, uh, a co-host, maybe. Yeah. But we needed the right person. You know, you can't just throw somebody yeah. in there. So uh, uh, when Artie kind of became available, and I've done his show over at his apartment a couple of times, and uh, it, it worked out well. We seemed to have a, a flow there. Uh, we thought Artie could be it. Uh, we had like a short list of a few other people, but nothing serious. Yeah. I mean, ever. So whoever thought they were kind of in line for it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they weren't. I guess uh, Stuttering John Melendez, yeah, got a little upset uh, with but Artie. He blamed it all at Ar on Artie. He blamed it all on <laughs> Artie that Artie got the gig. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know. We have we have the wonderful Joe Matarese in today. Yeah, at four, and Joe had just made a video and then pulled it off of uh, the internet. But you know, it's the internet. You're gonna see it, right? Uh, and it was a critique of. The uh, Artie and Anthony show. And, and he's brutal. <laughs> and I don't know what, you know, he decided after two or three days that he was going to right. start critiquing the show. Um, so he's on today and he's uh, definitely going to be, uh, you, ha have to explain You're going to put him under the fire over it. But a little bit. It, it is true that you can't judge. And I don't give a fuck whether it's the Tonight Show. If you go back exactly. and watch the first Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show, oh. disastrous. Yeah. The first time that he did the other show, disastrous. Disaster. The, just... first, the first Chevy Chase show. Unbelievable. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe sometimes. But <laughs> but you know what's even funny? I'll go back and watch the old Letterman's when they'll put them on, and you're like, man, I thought this was a lot funnier because I remember screaming. Yeah. I, I hear the audience dead a lot on those <laughs> That's shows. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Carsons are on full episodes uh -huh. at, at night, and you watch those, and 90% of it stinks. 
Yes, and you're always told that Johnny was such a genius and his such timing. He every, turned, yeah. yeah. You think every episode was gold. And again, I don't think audiences knew how to react to anything back then. They it's sat true. there. A lot of times a celebrity is uh, being interviewed by Johnny, and the audience is just dead. I'm thinking they should. Oh, they should probably chuckle there or right. something. Do you I think, think they, they were so like, polite. Yeah, do you think they coached them less? Like, that's something that came I, with the I business? I think, here's, here's the truth. Here's an interesting thing. Go back and look at, like, Man on the Street stuff from before, and people now know how to be on TV. You could that's say to somebody, it. hey, you're on the Today Show. What happened in this fire? And the guy will be able to do it. Yes. You know, anybody on the street will just say, this is unbelievable. Thanks for having me here. You know, but back then, people were just... Shocked and stunned. Everyone was awkward. Yeah. It was a new thing. You didn't get on television every right. day. Everyone expects to be on TV every day. Yeah. Or they've been on YouTube or somewhere else. Right. So, And there's so many outlets that years ago, you're right, when they put a microphone in someone's face, they're like, well, we first saw someone exit the building. Uh, he ran uh, north, down. And, and it's yeah. just a citizen in a suit and a fedora not knowing what the hell to say. This is the beautiful thing. There was a guy on the football game last night on ESPN who they threw in at the end of the show, and he just fucking totally ate it. He had some <laughs> oh, guy. No. He was a Mexican guy, oh, and yeah. they bring him on. He's a dreamer. Yeah, he's a dreamer, and he's a broadcaster. And it was his first time oh. on the big stage, oh. and just um, well, this was right at the end of the game, right, Chris? Yeah, they're doing the uh, Broncos Chargers. All right, this is up on the eye bank too. If you want to see it, go ahead and hit it. Uh, just stop it, would you, Chris? And take down some of your stuff. <laughs> yeah. you, have the, you have all your fucking what are your, fa your favorite songs yeah. are up? <laughs> yeah, see, That's a just, good one, actually. Yeah. I love that one. Uh, He's, um... Did you find it? It's in, it's embedded in the video for some reason. No one puts Vito in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll try to find the link to that. But here's the thing, too, about your show now. Like, you could just come in here and sit down. We're all kind of schlubby. Yeah. Your, when you do your show, it still has that, am I sitting upright? Do I, yes. Am I gulping my water? You know, you don't I'm very be, slouchy, so yeah. that would like, make me. But also, like, sometimes <laughs> on this show, I'll be like, I'll look at the next. Like, if one of you guys starts talking, I'll just start looking for the next thing to do. Right. You can't do that on your show. It, it, it's almost a, a thing that um, keeps you on your, your guard. And, and yeah. keeps the show moving. Like, <clears throat> I recall many times, especially toward the ass end of uh, the ONA show, yeah. uh, we were all just on our phones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were literally talking <laughs> and on our phones, whether yeah. we were trying to find uh, she-mails to date <laughs> or uh, we were uh, playing the new uh, Candy Crush or uh, we were on Pal Talk trying to uh, uh, find the next uh, girl we were going to um, get into trouble with. Uh, yeah, you know, we were all not paying attention to the right. show anymore. And uh, like now, people will see you if you're on your phone. Right. That's it. You have to keep the show moving. Uh, I like that aspect of it. I also like the visual aspect, being able to play clips. And um, they're out there. Everyone right. can see the videos that we're playing. Uh, that's cool. And, but it is kind of shocking. Um, it's me and Artie up there. Look, right. we're not, uh, you know, Brad Pitt and George Clooney yeah. sitting there uh, discussing the events of the day. Uh, somebody asked if we should uh, start broadcasting in 4K. <laughs> I was like, HD is quite enough. I actually want to go back to uh, when I used to watch standard deaf television with some ghosting from Channel 8. Can we throw in some old ghosting and static? Because uh, we're not HD people. Um, so I saw you guys were in Radar, too. Yes, 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 radar. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, everybody wants to just pile on and, and bring people down. Remember they used to uh, put people on a pedestal right. and then tear them down? Yeah. Well, now as you're climbing from the bottom of the bed, they're just ripping you off the damn thing. They don't even want you to get there anymore. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we all know Artie's had his uh, demons, and, uh, you know, he, he's he's dealing with a lot of stuff uh, uh that that he's been going through for years. This isn't a surprise or anything. Right. And um, you know, I love the fact that he's coming on and doing the show, and and it's uh, it's something for him to do on a daily basis. Right. It's great. Uh, and yeah, they were talking about. I think they actually said there's rumors around that Anthony is thinking of firing Artie. <laughs> it's like day two. This was after day two. Right. 
I'm like, even though, yeah, it's Artie, but two days, come on. Yeah. Give me a break. And uh, the AJ Benza actually uh, messaged me and said, you, you're going to squash these rumors about Artie? I'm like, what room? I didn't even hear about them. But apparently I was firing Artie. And, and then I'm, you know, I'm, I'm texting Artie and telling him, like, no, this, this is not true at all. Well, you're not a corporation that you can be bruised if already has a slip here or there. It you know? doesn't matter. <laughs> right. I love. I was forced to start my own company, my own broadcasting company, to avoid things just <laughs> like this. Like I, can't, I had to be on some platform where I absolutely couldn't get fired. <laughs> like it would be very difficult for me to get fired at this point. Uh, and you know, already being on there, if he's funny and he's showing up every day, that's it. God bless. We're we're doing a show. Uh, radar online. Go fucking <laughs> talk about anyone else that actually has <laughs> bosses and people that give a shit. So already <laughs> couldn't do anything that would make you fire. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. It's it's. I love having that kind of freedom. People talk about freedom of speech and the ability yeah. to talk about anything. I'm like, yeah, I love that too. But part of that is not being able to get fired for stupid shit. And I could say horrid things on Twitter every night. I do. And he could <laughs> mi he could miss a, a show or two, and you know, whatever. We'll roll with it. I uh, I love doing the solo shows every yeah. so often. I've done them before. I'm not going to sit there and go, uh oh, what do I do? <laughs> right. I'll cancel the day because I I don't know how to talk for two hours. If you're in this business for yeah. over five years, I'll give you. I'll give you five years yeah. and can't sit in a microphone and and carry on a semi entertaining show for two hours. Get the fuck out of the business. But someone said to me, how how long could this show last? I go, who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the <laughs> show. You know what I mean? <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> if it's 10 years, that would be something. You know what I mean? I'll be more baffled if we're like, hey, it's the 10-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Should it be like uh, those shows that uh, the writers and producer and everything haven't marked end to it? Yeah. Like, we're only going three seasons. Yes. And then yeah. we're stopping it. Yeah, that's yeah. Hilarious. Maybe maybe do one of those. Yeah. So there's not this uh, constant expectation. We we never even knew that that was a thing until like the English guys started to do that. Yes, like the Office. Yeah, of yeah, course. the Office. It was like Gervais is like we think we couldn't do any better. You're like, what? We'll run the American Try. Office for 14 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we Give love. Oh, do we love yeah. milking something until it's just dry as a bone? Great shows that started yeah. out amazing mutate into these horrible mm. versions of it after some of the stars leave. They just keep <laughs> fucking pumping the chest, right. trying to keep it going. That Charlie Sheen show where there's just uh, another guy. It's not even Charlie Sheen. No, they tried bringing in uh, like Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> yeah. And then the, it, there are some real disasters. Like All in the Family started out this amazing, irreverent, fantastic yeah. show. And it ended where... Everyone was gone except Archie. He owned a bar and he had a daughter. And, 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 Hispanic. And it, a Hispanic daughter. And every episode was a special episode. And it just sucked. Happy Days ended up being some kind of thing where it's like, is this supposed to be the 50s? Well, the fact they all got the dry look from yeah. Gillette. And Potsy is still hanging around with the little kids. Yeah. And Potsy's like, let me sing this song. Yeah. It was the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, they all just turn into these uh, because they, you know, the money's still there. Right? Yeah, yeah, the money's still there. If you're fucking Archie and you're driving to work on a bag of money, you're like, I'm going to just yeah. do this yeah. for a while. Uh, Carol, <laughs> we're, do we're thinking of doing, you know, uh, All in the Family uh, in space. <laughs> yeah. I'll do, oh, geez, dear, I'm on the moon there. You know, <laughs> he'll just do it. He don't care. <laughs> uh, the A and A show. It's happening. It's uh, oh, yeah. Artie and Ant, and this is this almost seems like a sketch somebody would have wrote years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, we weren't ever real bitter enemies right. or anything. There was the the Howard uh, camp and uh, the O and A camp, and uh, we we kind of bumped into the peripheral players right. every so often in the elevator here at uh, Sirius. And whatnot, and always got along. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I don't know why it got to such a vicious level uh, with with the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there were, I think there were some people that were a little more concerned and involved in the right. the fight than others. Yeah, like I uh, I had the pleasure of uh, running into Howard uh, down at the Borgata. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we were sitting at uh, different two different poker tables that were next to each other, and it was a very pleasant exchange. It was no problems or anything. Uh, running into the guys in the elevator, I, I've always uh, had a good relationship with Gary and Fred. Right. Uh, just not a problem. And uh, even when they were goofing on us, I remember a bit they were doing where um, I guess Opie had Opie had left or something. He was mad at me and and took off. And uh, Artie started doing this uh, someone else and Anthony show. And he kept throwing in different people, and it turned into animals and plants and stuff. And it was hilarious because right. Artie doesn't stop. No, Artie just keeps going with something, and it gets funnier and funnier. And uh, I laughed my ass off, and I told him it was hilarious when I saw him in the in the halls one day. And uh, you know, uh, some people get a little right. more uh, upset with things like that. Yeah. <laughs> so so then you know, years later, uh, the fact that we are both together doing a show is uh, very odd. Yes, it should have been written in a sketch. But it's very fucking. It also makes sense at the yeah, same time. Yeah. Because how many guys know what it's like just to come in? Slug it out like this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there look, there's Artie <laughs> right now. Artie! Oh, What's Artie happening, Lang. buddy? You look great, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Artie Lang! Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about the, uh, the old days <laughs> when uh, there was uh, this weird battle between the two camps here <laughs> and uh like i never really bought into it i never met you i, I, I don't think we yeah, ever we, met i think we bumped time. into each other in the hallway one once. time yeah uh <laughs> and and i was actually complimenting one of your your bits you did because opie had left the show for a few days uh, right. sabbatical or something yeah he was angry with me uh <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I was eating grapes on the air or something. <laughs> and uh and you started going to this uh, something, someone, and Anthony show. Oh, and you oh, yeah, kept yeah, going yeah, yeah. and going, and it was hilarious. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some people thought it was hilariously funny. Others got a little upset. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you never know what's going to make people <laughs> mad. I knew uh, you don't want to make funny people mad. And you guys were funny. <laughs> uh, so I uh, I said to myself, because people would tell me what you guys said. I'm like, oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, the worst is the translation. When fans right. translate it, <laughs> oh, that Anthony was really funny. He said so, and then it's not funny. You're like, I don't think Anthony wants you to tell me this joke. <laughs> get, a, get a tape of it. Yeah. Like, I had a manager once who would make Mitch Hedberg unfunny. He would tell me a Mitch Hedberg joke. And I go, I don't get that. He goes, it's really funny. I go, you don't do that with my material. <laughs> That's why I'm not getting work. <laughs> Are you out there doing my jokes? You tell Les Moon does my act? Uh, that's why you're a manager. Oh, God. You know, I would get that with because your fans were my fans, too, or our yeah. fans. But you're so right about the difference in time. I couldn't go, I can't go that, that way anymore when I get out of the door. Yeah. I used to be able to go just that way, and now I can't go that way. It's that's, weird. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. Yeah. I, I actually rode up in the elevator with uh, Scott Greenstein. Really? Uh, yeah, he got on the elevator. I got on. I'm like, hey, how you doing? How'd yeah. that go? Nice, very pleasant yeah. uh, conversation. Yes. It was nice. You Did know, you tell you about when he produced Pulp Fiction? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the poster in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a uh, he's a Hollywood guy. It's a different type of business, but oh, yeah. I guess he's doing well. He's been here a while. That's yeah, he has. Sure. Longer yeah. than us. Yeah, he has been here a long time. <laughs> we, we had a brief stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Artie, how are you liking doing the show with Anthony? Is it fun? Well, we've done four days of it. My yeah. God, it's so much fun, man. Yeah. We Every day something happens that uh, is like the hardest I ever laughed. I switched the, 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 the red meter, the red line of hardest I ever laughed every day. <laughs> it goes to another level. Uh, yeah. Twitter seems to like it. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, the, yeah. The fans really, uh, and e the ones that get me are the ones that were really kind of doubtful at first. Right. <laughs> they were either fans of me or right. Artie, yeah. right. and not really, and, and and had this misconception that if you put us together, one is going to fuck up the other one. <laughs> right. And it's like we're fuck ups on our own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe together we'll make one winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> together we'll make one really good like, cousin Bruce here. <laughs> So. Anthony Cumia and Artie Langer in studio with us. The AA show is live Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. East. Go to compoundmedia.com. And uh, AA, I did Nick DePaul, so I had N A N A A. But Anthony has no ego. It's like uh, his name was in the title of a, an iconic show, you know, and, and I was just sort of a sidekick. Uh, 
uh, and I, I uh, the, like you know the name. My name is first because of the rhythm. It just sounds <laughs> better. I think just yeah. yeah. The I mean, two most... syllable name right. always works better before the three syllable very, name. Very, very There's right. just the way it works, and it, yeah. it works. It. I went for years with the. Uh, you know, Anthony and Op Opie, Opie and yeah. people would say Opie and I've Anthony. Done it. I have done it myself. <laughs> they just couldn't well, you know spit that one out. People wanted for us Opie and Anthony. Opie. <laughs> 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 yeah. That flows too. But I mean, you know what Trump's all about? He just said ego. Like, yeah, yeah. No, there's no ego. <laughs> He's right. just always smiling. I don't care. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I it's... just don't fucking like yeah. things, shit like that. I can't even fathom. Like stressing. people having a problem with right. shit like right. that. Who cares? It's, so the answer is it's, it's a blast so far, you know? Yeah, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I was t talking about yesterday with uh, Chris Hansen. Oh, God. Was, I, you know, I don't oh know if you really God. wanted me to stop because you're friendly with the guy. You know? <laughs> no, it was so goddamn fun. It was reminiscent of, like, the old shows right, right, when right. someone would come in. Like, uh, shocked, but shocked, we shocked. asked, of course, yesterday was the anniversary, the solemn anniversary of September 11th, uh, right. 2001. And uh, uh, Chris Hansen, being a newsman, I asked him what he was doing uh, on September 11, 2001, and uh, Artie asked him, were you fucking kids? <laughs> and I'm like, what? We were on the top of the trade center having sex with Was anyone having sex with a child on the top of the trade <laughs> <laughs> Kids ass on the world. I was just, uh, and he was uh, a good sport, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, there was an audience there. He has this great idea where there's bleachers. Anybody wants to show up, comes yeah. and sits. Yeah. Yeah. Some days so, there's one person. Some days there's yeah, like, it's yeah. great. Many so all these cops and firemen were there, and they were laughing. So as a comic, I'm playing to them. Right. <laughs> yeah. As long yeah. as they laughed, I kept doing it. You know? Right. Yeah, and they only true. laugh at the most upper crusty type of uh, humor, <laughs> cops and firemen. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And, and ass fucking. Yes, that uh, is true. The difference between a comic and a uh, and a broadcaster, a, a fucking comic will throw everything away. Right, if yeah. it's getting left, the, everything yeah. goes out <laughs> until the stores, you're right. commercials, <laughs> time you suppose. Well, who gives a fuck? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, who laughs? Yeah. Yeah. But now you have that freedom that you know when you work for a corporation, you really. Yeah. You do have things that have to be taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there are things, uh, yeah, responsibilities to the corporation and right. Uh, right. Uh, the limits that they'll put on you as to what you sure. can and can't talk about. It's terrible. Um, yeah, it, it's it's stifling. And these days, there just seems to be more of that out there because regardless of even the company you work for, like, who's the sponsors? Do they have a problem? Right. Yeah. Do right. they own, you know, the car company owns the the. the pretzel company that advertises on <laughs> yeah. you, you don't know so, people involved. yeah you say something yeah. and it, it trickles down five people later you're being called out on the carpet so i love the freedom of just being able to go in there whatever the fuck we want to talk right. about and right. however we want to talk about it that's that fair should be game. that should be on, on on the uh on the advertisement like we have no bosses we no. have money coming in and there's no bosses <laughs> and if there is <laughs> there's no one telling us not why like like snapple isn't upset with, <laughs> yeah. with the kid fucking bit right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and if there were two people that you would think should probably have a boss, you know, sure. someone there to. But Ronald, you're a stand up too. Yeah. Uh, you're a great stand up, and I, 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 I work with you a couple times in the stand up. I realize how good you were. So you know both worlds. Yeah, and it's just like you know, I don't give a shit what snapples. I'm a comic. I'll keep going. So right. for comedy, I think we're the perfect two guys not to have it. For corporations, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> now speaking of, and uh, you're going to come in and do a mashup with me when you come on stage. Right? Yes, I am. I've done a couple of these uh, yeah. little events that right. you have down at the the stand and whatnot. And, and you had very great, great time. You have great timing. Oh my and god! And I think he should get on stage more. I really do. Uh, I just never really gave that uh, thought. Well, now he's he's rich. It's a bad time to tell him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he needed rent money. <laughs> was, uh, well, last night we were at the Village Underground with yeah. uh, Chip Chipperson. That was, oh, uh, that was that the big Chip Chipperson live Se show. September 11th show. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go in there. The place is fucking packed. Yeah. It's a sold out crowd at the Village Underground. And uh, nice room. they are loving every second of this show. Yeah. That idiot gets out there dressed like he's, <laughs> I don't know, he's got like the spiky um, cruising, the yeah. movie cruising hat on. Right. That's a good movie. And, and he's wearing those. <laughs> what, look like cruising. <laughs> what do they call those? Jenko pants? Yeah. <laughs> those big, yeah. wide, oh. a leather vest. He just looked like a blithering idiot. He looked like uh, Corleone's first uh, concierge. Jenko? <laughs> no, not Jenko. Jenko. <laughs> Jenko Olive Oil. <laughs> it, it, was, uh, it was just 
I, I the first thing I said was this isn't real, people. Uh, yeah. This isn't a real thing. They like people like characters. He's selling merch. Yeah, he's oh, got like everything is working for him. And we were up on stage at the, of course, uh, Sam Roberts and Colin Quinn. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Kelly, myself. That's a Lauren. lineup. That's it, a lineup of murder in a row. It was great, and we had a fun time. A guy came down from the Upright Citizens Brigade to teach us <laughs> improv. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. guy, I am fucking... A real guy uh, who, by the way, had no clue what the fuck this was going to be about. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> it, what He was doing uh, you know, some exercises, some oh, improv my God. exercises. Oh, my God. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, of course, Chip. Uh, so was throwing exercise. throwing monkey wrenches into the whole thing. <laughs> there he is. That's uh, how Ch is Chip was dressed. What is the origin of that? How did it, that come? There's out? changes Never all the time. There doesn't. Origin. There's he, not sense. It's you, what Chip thinks is cool. When oh, okay. you when you do that show, <laughs> you've never felt more off balance because yes. you don't know whether to agree, attack him. That's the point. You know, you know what? Yeah. The character is better looking than Norton. Yeah, I don't know how he swung that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's, he's a talent. Covered looks, that beluga whale head he had. <laughs> he looks he finds 13. His sonar equipment. It looks like hollow, <laughs> Halloween for a 13-year-old boy. I was, boy. I was amazed in. that you said that he never breaks either. No, he, no, never he never breaks break. when you're doing the show. No. Remember I did it with you, and I'm like, yes. are we on the air? Is this... Yeah. Is this a yeah. show? He's like De Niro. He's a yeah. method actor. He, yeah. really, <laughs> it is. he really is. But uh, the sold out crowd loved it. They they all stayed uh, to get pictures and autographs yeah. and merch. Well, wow, that's and a lot of it, that's work. It's ethic. crazy. And Bobby Kelly feels like Dr. Frankenstein that right. created this monster. Well, and, I was going to say, what happened? How did it get created? Uh, it's just, it was it's been a character on the ONA show for right. years. I right. mean, yeah, he he would just start. Because we hated it. We <laughs> hated the character. Uh, he would do, just do these cornball jokes and puns that were terrible. And uh, it was very short. Like, he would do it for a few seconds. I yeah. acknowledge it, and it was over. So I don't know how he decided to stretch this into an hour podcast it worked. and then a two-hour live show. <laughs> it's going to get it like the ice capades is picking it up. Like, you see it at the garden. That's why he, he, he learns how to ice skate. That's yeah. work ethic. <laughs> but, you know, uh, Jim Carrey's doing that thing about how he went nuts when he yes. played Andy Kaufman. And this is what's going to happen to Norton. That's <laughs> gonna, he's going to fall into this pit. You know what helps when you oh, go yeah. nuts is, uh, with the Jim Carrey thing is if you have $200 million. <laughs> right. <You know? laughs> yeah, just wave that uh, bank account yeah. in front of you and you won't be nuts anymore. Jim Carrey's allowed to go nuts. And this is Jim Carrey. Check this out. and Put some music behind it, uh, Chris. Uh, this is Jim Carrey. And he's at Fashion Week. Uh -huh. And this is just him on the red carpet. Yeah, he's getting laid doing this. Yeah. Hey, Jim Carrey. Yes. What? I've covered a lot of fashion weeks. This is the first time I've run in to Jim Carrey. Wow, he's circling your like <laughs> 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 He looks like Trump and Hillary. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Uh, I just, uh, She's hilarious, you know, the girl. There's no meaning to any of this. So I, uh, I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could come to. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> They're celebrating. I mean, you gotta admit it's completely meaningless. Oh, holy <laughs> God. They say they're celebrating icons inside. Celebrating icons. icons, boy, that is just the absolute lowest gaming <laughs> you know, oh possibility that we could come wow. up with. Wow. It's like icons. <laughs> Wait, do you believe in icons? I don't I believe in personalities. I don't believe that you exist, but don't. there is a, a wonderful fragrance in the air. You don't believe I, certain icons have the power to make change, to think differently, to be bold, to inspire others? Oh. Artistry? You're one of them. On the good foot. Ha! W what did the Grinch change? Yeah. <laughs> Shut it down now. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I don't believe oh my God. icons. Uh, They're I like Megan. Uh, personalities. Uh, I believe Bay, that the... peace lies beyond personality, beyond invention and disguise, beyond the red S that you wear on your chest that makes bullets bounce off. I believe that it's deeper than that. I believe we're a field of energy She's dancing. She's trying to pull the mic away. <laughs> field of energy. And, uh, she sees herself going back to work at a gift shop in Rhode Island. I don't care. But Jim, you got really dressed up for the occasion. You look good. No, I Was didn't that an get accident? Up. I didn't get dressed up. Who did? There is no me. There's no you. No. <laughs> we're not here. This is a dream? There's just things happening. And there are clusters of tetrahedrons moving around together. Oh, God. Oh. So what's happening in our world right now? Because there is a lot of news that actually is relevant that's not that yeah. Here's uplifting. the thing. It's not our world. None of this is real? Nope. nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. 
We don't matter. <laughs> the, the, the best thing about crazy. that is uh, the best thing about that is like three feet to the right is Wayne Brady with the publishers waiting to get interviewed. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is now uh, the Joe Namath interview is now second place for more awkward. Oh my now, Joe god! Joe Namath, if that was a character, Joe Namath to just give him an Emmy or uh, I love you. I don't care if the team is struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a breath of fresh air. Let's I want to kiss you. I want to kiss your tit, your hedron. You go from fucking a young Raquel Welch to get turned down by Susie Kelber. Uh, by, by the way, I want to point out that Artie did a Nichols and May. Uh, Nichols and May, yeah. In the middle of that, which is pretty highbrow, Artie. <laughs> pretty fucking highbrow. I forgot the Nichols. The Artie Lang Irish and forgot. Anthony Cumier are in studio with us. The AA show is live Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. Go to compoundmedia.com and subscribe. No, it's Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Saturday yeah. meeting. Yes. Yeah. Is it 4 p.m. ish? Uh, no, it's <laughs> on, on the money, on yeah. the dodge. Well, so we, uh, far. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so far. That's more the production guys than me, though. I mean, right. you know, yeah. I, whenever uh, the music starts, it's a Pavlovian. I just come alive. Yeah, you just go yeah, yeah, I, start, I start dancing. <laughs> what, a and, great, uh, uh, yeah, what a great setup you've got. That's, yeah, the production guys are great. We have the wonderful Garrett. That uh, used to uh, work over there for the no, late wait, no, Jay Thomas. No, lo no longer called Stinky. No, he's not called Stinky anymore. That was yeah. his nickname. That yeah. was a thing years ago because <laughs> uh, he uh, smelled like weed all the time. Well, right? I hope it was ironic with like fat guy being tiny. Or something. Tiny, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, John, our buddy yeah. John, who's been there since uh, the, the beginning of this whole thing when it was a uh, modest little show in my basement. Uh, Crazy, my, right? my little lifeboat down there in the basement. Uh, <laughs> thank God I had built that thing. I, it was like the um, it was like that episode of the Twilight Zone where the guy built the bomb shelter, right? And then uh, <laughs> the bombs are coming and the neighbors are banging on the door. Let me in! Like I knew, I knew something was going to happen. Good for you. I knew I could not hold a broadcasting job. Yeah. Uh, so I built my own little shelter in the basement. They told you the eye of the hurricane was coming and it came. <laughs> it really and you used did. to just pal talk it at first, right? You were pal talking it, or yeah, well, uh, or was well, it I was doing that also. Periscoping but, uh, it. It was periscope. Yeah. Which I do, I do not endorse at all these days periscope or i call it a video evidence <laughs> <laughs> oh i forgot that yeah i hate everything yeah. on, on tape that's terrible oh that's the problem is yeah. you just don't know what is being recorded and where and yeah uh yeah there was a certain uh, girl mm -hmm. that would uh record like just broadcast things on periscope oh. when i was doing the show from my basement i, I actually had the legion of skanks come on and do their show from my basement. Yeah. And uh, it's not like the Legion of Skanks comes over, <laughs> does a show at my house, and then leaves. Right. They all jumped in the pool like the scene from Caddyshack. You know, they stay. Uh, they, they, yeah, stay. they stay. You got to get in the bum ground pool. They won't make it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're swimming around in the pool, and, uh, and then the same girl uh, is just periscoping their conversation. And, of course, what That's do you think they're good. talking about? Right. Chicks and this yeah. and that. And, uh, you know, things that are supposed to be privileged info. So, yeah, people that do that, that's uh, despicable. Their on-air stuff is libel. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Never yeah. mind what they're saying off-air. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, every, that's true. Everybody you meet now is a cinematographer. They all got, yeah. like, video and stuff, a, a photo album, like a videography. <laughs> right. And it's uh, it's very scary. Everyone. Like, John Gotti could never work nowadays. Oh no. my God. John Gotti had a guy in his crew named Angelo Quack Quack Ruggiero. And <laughs> Quack Quack was called that because he talked too much. Oh, shit. And you I don't want to be that. No, I'd love to see John Gotti when his uh, guy goes, hey, you know, Quack Quack opened up a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> He's tweet, quack, tweet. Quack Quack. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet. <laughs> At tweet, tweet. <laughs> yeah, send them in here. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be that guy. Wow, you think about things like that, like organized uh, crime. Sure. In today's day and age with social media. They're all tweeting. Uh, that would be a bad thing. You're tweeting out the body. That's yeah. why, <laughs> you know, I mean, most things were like when we were younger, you couldn't even imagine what Mick Jagger was doing oh, with his it. life, yeah. let alone no. to be able to tweet to him. And expect a response. That's the, what's always shocking to me. The yeah. imagined thing is always better than what he's really doing. Yes, yes. You know, exactly. Let be, because let be a mystery. We yeah. we knew we knew what celebrities did <clears throat> when they were on Carson. Yeah, we got to see him. Uh, and when they were performing, like a, a band live, you yeah. went to a concert. That was it. Right. Or you saw a star in a movie. But other than that, you did not see them. Right. I guess that's why those magazines did well, like the Star and the Enquirer right. stuff, because that was like a look into their personalized but now they're you know 
Hashtag my lunch. Right. Yeah. And, and we get to see what fucking, you know. But, yeah. yeah, at least the star was. J-Law is yeah. eating. The, at least the star was fictionalized to keep the buzz going. Right. Yes. You know, not see how imagine. dull they are. Like you would say, like Led Zeppelin fucked a woman with a shark. Right, yeah. <laughs> and no one fucking tweeted it? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Was it a bull shark? Oh, oh my God. But, Tiger shark. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you walk straight ahead. Yeah. <laughs> But remember, Jack Nicholson wouldn't even do fucking The Tonight Show. Yeah, so you never He would never only knew. do a magazine. Right. He would, like, be interviewed in a magazine, but he wouldn't go on Murph. It's yeah. a mystery. It's a mystery, yeah. Yeah. He didn't that want to give it away. That was part of celebrity back yeah. then, was the mystique of the whole thing. Being cool. Right. And now it's just thrown away with, you know... Tom Cruise, A list stars shit. get slimed at the Kids' Choice Awards. Would yeah, Jack I know. Nicholson ever get slimed? No, that's fucking true. <laughs> stars, they're just like us. Yes. Yeah. Why? why? Why do you want somebody yep. just like us? And why do we have to please kids? Fuck them. I'm not going to. Make... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be cool enough not to get green shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my kids, well, shut the fuck up, your kid. <laughs> These asshole kids. Yeah. Artie Lang, Anthony Cumia, they're live <laughs> Monday through Thursday. Oh, I love it. Four p.m. Yeah, you like the guy in the rap room who just yells Brooklyn every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn! <laughs> That's the job up. I want. <laughs> Compoundmedia.com to subscribe. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love it. Fun right, time. We're going to take a break here, uh, Chrissy. All right. We're right, but you guys can hang out for a while, and then you're yeah. going to do oh, your sure. show? Absolutely. All right. It's Artie a long and, day. Artie and Anthony <laughs> here. It's Bennington. <laughs> Tickets to Pamela Adlon Unmasked. It's going to be a big event. And uh, yeah. so tomorrow night, Ant, do you want to do uh, stand-up with me or Thursday night? Uh, tomorrow night, I believe. What do I have tomorrow night? Thursday uh, Thursday night's probably good. I think I do Chip's podcast at 6.30. Perfect. And then I like dart on over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, uh, 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 here's Chip. Yeah. <laughs> I run out of there. <laughs> all right. We'll, 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 Thursday uh, sounds good. I'll get you all the stuff for that Thursday night at the stand. Ant's going to jump up with me, and we're going to fuck around for 15 minutes. Nice. I love it. By the way, I'm, I'm doing the Stan's uh, anniversary show. You doing that? Yes, yeah. I am going to do that. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm doing uh, You know, Artie and I brought in the new year. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we counted down the new year. Wow. Year. <laughs> at well, the stand. Well, Artie was putting together this thing because you were touring with the guys from the TV show. Right, 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 yeah. right. And so it was... Uh, that's a fun place to do the stand. You got to yeah. about 86 people. It's real yeah. intimate. But the thing is, right before the stage, it dips. Do you know oh, it's on the yeah. floor, like dips like this? Yeah. And I've almost died three times. <laughs> yeah. It's the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> but Ar Artie was, you know, getting back in comedy shape because he's like, I don't know what these hipster kids are right, 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 <laughs> leaning on the wall and shit. But you went out and crushed every yeah. single night. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, well, so did you. The, was, a, the AA show live Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern, hanging out with us today. Oh, yeah. And this is Four Guys in Radio, now a legendary show. You just up the yes. game of... <laughs> we uh, did. I yeah. think we did up the whole uh, thing. I don't even know what to call it. It's not really a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's a web show. It's a right. fucking... So I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but... There are plenty of podcasts out there. A lot of them suck. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, this, of... this just my brother's in... is terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone has one. Everybody right. who listens to your show has a podcast. Everyone's got a fucking yeah. podcast. Well, you know what I said. The difference is when I got arrested in LA County. Uh, I was in LA County Jail. The guards gave me my own uh, uh, cell because I was on Mad TV. And then when I got arrested a few years ago, they gave me my own cell because I was on the Stern Show. And then uh, when I got arrested recently, I said I have a podcast, and the guard said, "So do I." <laughs> <laughs> so I was in with another guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gen pop. But uh, I know it's fun. It's, uh, fun, fun place. You don't want to hear that, right? No. Now. Oh no. Uh, but I, it's fun. I just know it's a lot of fun going in there. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, funny, man. You know? Yeah, the uh, oh god, Gen, Gen Pop. I uh, I do I do recall my incarceration. You have yeah. a story about Gen Pop? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they put you in the bigger cell Not with good. a bunch of the yeah. people, and all I'm thinking is like, I hope none of them really know everything I've tweeted and said over the sure. over yeah. the course Why of the is years. That it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> difference in politics might be yes. <laughs> good way to put it, Artie. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> difference in politics. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't like your tax plan. It's a <laughs> it's a weird thing, and and no matter you always try to put on this air of tough guy. 
Right. And there's nothing you, you just can't right. you can't just muster that up. You but you always vest. think <laughs> yes, a bulletproof vest would have been nice. And you're just standing there going like I am completely uh, out of control of my life here. Yeah, yeah, and but you've also aged out where they even paying attention to. You. Like <laughs> it's always the younger guys <laughs> looking at you. But yeah. You can just act like you're red from Shawshank. Well, you're, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah, you're at that good age where, you, well, bad age maybe. No, good age where you're not going to get fucked, but you get beat up. Right. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, sure. You gotta track I'll take it. I would take that. Fucked or beat up, I beat yeah. the shit out of me. I'm not supposed. <laughs> to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the key to surviving in jail is the first day, here's, here's how you survive. The first day you want to give a really bad blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing in marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Same exact thing in marriage. It's a little toothy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, there, I, I know that you're a, a, a pro-gun guy. I don't know whether you saw this girl, sure. Ariel Winter. Yeah. This is the latest thing, and uh, she is posing... Mm. With her gun, yeah, and um, the oh, internet yeah. blowing up for it. That's awesome. Yeah. Now this is also one of those girls that grew up on TV, so you're supposed to be slimy if you dig her now that she's right, but legal I, age. I don't uh, subscribe to that. You don't go for that. I'm like really? anything yeah, really. goes. Come on. After a certain age, anything goes. Well, Even a neighbor all, girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I've never gotten hard so quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, Vito, this is your girl, right? This yes. is the one you're crazy about. This is my number one. Do you <laughs> like her with a gun or without a gun? I like her with anything at all. This is even better. I yeah. mean, like, I don't know. It just seems like she's like, she'll just force me to do stuff. Okay, so that's what <laughs> you're going to be. You're a bottom. So when... Yeah, because like, <laughs> no, you're a real bottom. Yeah. I'm now, so... what was your rock uh... bottom? <laughs> What did she used to do? She's Modern Family. She's still on there, but she was oh, a little girl yeah. when the show started. And she started. was supposed to be on? the unattractive one. So yeah. she was like, her See older sister happens. is yeah. the hot well, you one. Know, you know what? Is that Ed O'Neill? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, his, that's his granddaughter on the show. <laughs> oh, she, so she's a big-time actress. Yeah, yeah. big-time. Yeah, like the uh, blonde girl from Family Ties. Right. She was supposed to be the ugly one, and then she grew up to be yeah. the uglier one. Tina Yothers. <laughs> Tina well, Yothers. This one, she's like, she immediately started to develop. Right. And she was, like, developing much faster than her older, right. hotter sister. So they were always just putting her in, like, dumpy sweaters you and know, trying to make her, her look. They brought yeah. her tits down, too. Those yeah, are, the, yeah, that's a reduction. Yeah. Oh, wow. They were, yeah. What they asshole were crazy. did that? <laughs> what is it with the child stars and their giant tits? <laughs> You've yeah, like, had uh, uh, 2D, 2D from uh, <laughs> yes, 2D, big tits. Uh, that was uh, Facts of Life, yeah. right? And then you had uh, uh, the other one, the girl. Um, what was her name? The oh, dark-haired girl. Oh, I was thinking Alyssa was Milano was kind of like. Oh. No, she didn't. She didn't get a reduction though. Teen oh. steam. She just let them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, how about Tiffany Amber Thiessen? Let them rock. Yeah. Or I call her T.A.S. <laughs> <laughs> a Punky Brewster. That's yeah, yeah. the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Punky yeah. Brewster had she to have a reduction. Resty. She had yes. four knees. Yeah. <laughs> Vito, who was the one that was in here? It was like, um, and all the kids went, anyone who was like 32 went nuts. Topanga. Oh. Topanga. Oh, yeah. she, she was like yeah. the first internet uh, whore. <laughs> she well, was the first girl that, like, the celebrity on the internet that was like, oh, my God. Topanga. I look at her. Yeah. Going, her, her. Her nickname for her pussy is Topanga Canyon. Serious <laughs> <laughs> uh, XM wants us to know that that is a legend. A uh, legend okay. that she refers to her vagina that way. I'm oh. sorry. Thank you. By the way, I can't uh, believe that. And is just taking these all off the top of his head one after another. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I've, I've thought of these a few times. <laughs> but you being a gun guy, do you want to be with a chick who's a gun chick? Ooh, good that's question. A, yeah. I, uh, I, I classify uh, girls that I've dated. Yeah. Th there's three categories. Right. There's uh, magazine in, yeah. magazine out, <laughs> and lock the gun up. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. there are some girls I actually trust. Right. With the gun being around with the magazine in there. Right. Others, I'm like, yeah, let me pop that out and take the round out of the chamber, and yeah. I'll hold on to the mag. And then others that it's like, yeah, there are no guns available it's in like this house. like having a toddler. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. And right. sometimes it is. I have, uh, I have three categories uh, with my girls I've dated. White, tan, and you can't get the gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, no that's, uh, that's kind of sexy right there. Yeah. 
That's very sexy. Yeah. But I was always worried that you would end up dying uh, in your sleep like Phil Hartman. Oh, you know what God, I mean? Just the, yes. You go take a nap and she gets even with uh, you. And she, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a tragedy that was. I yeah. just killed Troy McClure. <laughs> <laughs> you might know me from being alive. <laughs> Such when you're in character when you kill. It's uh, it is frightening. There, but there's another thing that you can do. Uh, girls, honestly, most of them not as strong as uh, guys. So, right. So I, I would, when a girl was <laughs> over that, gone? I didn't trust some, somewhat with a gun, maybe shooting me in my sleep. Uh, I would make sure I, I took out one of the forty fives that just could not be racked. Yeah. Like uh -huh. I, and I, I'd give it like, yeah, yeah, uh, just cock it back. Cock, and they're, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, that's the gun that goes on the night table. Right. right. She cannot possibly uh, chamber around. So it is in, in the back of your head that you could be murdered when <laughs> you go. Better to that's sleep. in the back of my head than the round. <laughs> yeah, Kennedy had a lot of stuff in the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, thinking of something. Poo. <laughs> I can't get it it's right in the back of my all right head. <laughs> If you uh, slow down, there's a Bruder tape. It does look like his wife is just putting the gun up there. Oh, that's it might, maybe. Yeah, that's the second shooter. I wouldn't stacking. doubt there are people that absolutely believe that. Yeah. There are people that said it was his driver, too, because at some point the driver right. kind of turns. Turned and around and looked. The, the driver and shot him, but no one caught him. <laughs> Those are the same people like Ted, Ted Kelly <laughs> couldn't swim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, drowned a whore. <laughs> he did, then, he, I, uh, then he went home yeah. in his wet clothes and right. uh, took a nap. wet because I. Uh, I'm really sweating this out. <laughs> he, uh, the uh, Celtic game. <laughs> what happened? He, what he did is he went home and called a lawyer. Yeah. When you yeah. call a lawyer instead of 911, you're fucking <laughs> Yeah. Prepared. Well, it's like Carton found out. You don't yeah. want to be arrested by people wearing windbreakers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be arrested when it looks a little windy out. Yeah. That's no one ever a... has any oh. problems seeing what those initials are on yeah. that jacket. <laughs> no. Those are big... oh. And well, it's not like when you watch uh, the shows like Cops and Live PD yeah. and stuff, it's uh, so entertaining. The cop pulls up and goes, uh, is it marijuana I smell in the yeah. vehicle? Why don't you step out? Let me look. What, when they have a case like Carton's, it's already done. <laughs> yeah, it's done. The, the FBI go doesn't go, I think I, is that a wire fraud I smell in your car? <laughs> you might want to step out of the vehicle. They don't have to pretend they saw something. No, it's is a, a done deal. I don't know. His lawyer said it was a misunderstanding. Let me introduce you to Mr. Understanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, no. you, uh, he's, uh, I, look, I know the guy. I feel he's looking at time. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, we've all been in trouble before, but we've never even attempt it, no. that craziness. That I, I would never it. steal millions of dollars. From yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you are definitely going away. Yeah, that's that's not well, forgivable. If, that happens. if you're going to do, like, white-collar crime, you literally have to have a white collar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, if one of us gets that idea, we're like, well, that's crazy. Yeah. Ronnie, I in, could never in, pull that off. In all the history of yeah. uh, doing radio and yeah. uh, giving out the prizes, have you ever given a pair of concert tickets to someone you knew? <laughs> um, <laughs> the first, the, my first contest yeah. in radio, oh my God. and it was a true trip yeah. to Ireland to see the see you too. Oh my god. Holy shit. And this was the fucking What the hell thing. were you working? What a great prize. Uh, <laughs> and the prize goes to my dealer. My dealer <laughs> is going to Ireland. I'm not, I'm not making it up. Because we met him Holy in a titty bar uh, <laughs> two days before, made the fucking promise. And he's fucking handing over, going, you better. Oh, my you better, God. You're going to definitely. <laughs> oh, forget shit. it. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know how many people I told my dealer was a comedian and had him as a guest on the after show? <laughs> 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 yeah, this is Jamal, and uh, this is his, his buddy, my cousin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is a good one. Yeah. Wow, I never Damn. heard that story. That's yeah, crazy. he made out like a fucking bandit, too. Yeah. Oh. Be totally honest. That was an nice... insane prize. Yeah. Remember uh, the guy that ran the uh, prize closet? I won't say any names, but yeah. ran the prize closet at uh, NEW. Right. Crazy Eddie. And uh, yes, yeah, so it might as well have been. And like so satellite units were going out the door. <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened to all the satellite, <laughs> satellite dishes yeah. and and whatnot? Well, no, we'll those... take them. Put the fur coats in the freezer. We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, keep yeah. Them. Over there. No, we keep it, buddy, with the swag. I want the yeah. rush tickets. Put them in the freezer. <laughs> we we had a guy who was just sitting there signing albums all day long. <laughs> 
And Joe Walsh. <laughs> Joe Walsh. Probably look Joe like Joe Walsh. Walsh's signature. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Joe uh, Walsh probably never signed something in his life. No. <laughs> the gold records were disappearing from the wall. Oh, sure. Like, people just wanted that at were home. Were they really gold? Be able to, <laughs> be able my to buddy, tell their uh, friends. My buddy's roommates were Mark Grace, the first baseman for the Cubs. And he used to get a lot of women. And uh, he, uh, he noticed that Mark Grace had a stripper over. And uh, she was leaving with his gold glove, the gold glove oh, again, yeah. <laughs> Shit. under her jacket. And he stopped her. She was going to take the whole gold glove. And it's big. It's like a, it's got a mount. <laughs> That's wow. not a good girl to date. <laughs> yeah. You know what's odd? It's, it sucks when girls either take shit from your place or leave shit at right. your place. Yeah, you don't want to Both it. will be fucking bad. I'd rather them take it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you don't leave. Take the it. leave is a very purposeful move. Oh, it's ne it's yeah. never an accident. Left my. I do. Not mm -hmm. uh, doubt it's mm -hmm. a purposeful move. My AK-47, I left there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, to go back to Carton, did you notice how many guys that do sports radio are gambling? Oh, guys? yeah. No, they're they not. Are. Oh, yeah. They're everyone. And remember, we had the sports guys. Sports Three guys. of them, including Carton, <laughs> right. were fucking gambling Well, that's guys. how you know yeah. so much about it. Yeah. You, you know, when you're an adult, when you're a kid, you know the Yankees because you're a kid. Right. When you're an adult, you know the Yankees because you got $8,000 on the <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. When I stopped gambling for a little while, I, I realized I, I didn't give a shit about the Giants. No, it's true. <laughs> you weren't just it's a true. fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care who's playing center. When, right. when people tell me they don't understand the game, I say, "Fucking put a bet down." Right, yeah, right. You'll know everything there is. It's instant excitement. Tuesday yeah. night in February, put put uh, put two grand on Virginia Tech <laughs> and get drunk watching it. It beats like New Year's Eve at P Diddy's house. <laughs> <laughs> You're having fun. <laughs> It's so true, man. Yeah. Money just makes everything more exciting. They want to pretend that they yeah. uh, they want to help kill. Like the NBA slogan is "Stay in school." If they want to pr promote that, have a spelling bee for the players. <laughs> uh, Carmelo Anthony, you want to see him dunk or, or try to spell receipt? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony yeah. Cumia and Art. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Anthony Cumia. Here's a character. Oh, the Artie and Anthony show oh. Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. East. Go to Brooklyn. compoundmedia.com. Com. <laughs> You're very good at your job. Well, anyway, I love it. I can tell that you two guys never plug anybody who does <laughs> I know. your show. Uh, it's it's Why rare. Were you here? very nice at the end. Why it's, were you uh, here? <laughs> yeah, who, who are, are you? <laughs> Why are you here? You could be a comedian. Is there a website? Uh, now, Dave, no, Dave Smith was on yesterday. Right, very funny. His, uh, his special is available now. So. Yeah, Dave Smith. Uh, yeah, Dave's a good guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's a smart guy. Yeah. <laughs> like Dave knows a lot about politics. And uh, But yeah. does he take a stand? Yeah, he's like crazy libertarian. Yeah. Uh, and I do what? mean crazy. Like, there, I don't want anything. No army, no police, no... Th that, yeah, that's that's easy to say because it'll never happen. Yeah. Right. Well, it's only, oh, when you're, well, only when your guy gets elected does, uh, does it stop being fun to talk about politics. It happens in, you're on the defense. in post-apocalyptic movies. Yeah. yeah. That is libertarianism right there. Come for my shit, I'll shoot you. Right. You don't need a police force because I'll just shoot you. Right. Basically, any Patrick Swayze movie where he's not a bouncer. <laughs> right. <laughs> you mean Red the, Dawn. The coolest movie ever? Yeah, it is. It's very cool. <laughs> well, I wish you guys were here yesterday. The Reverend Al was doing a town hall. Oh, the wow. The fact that he's still around is amazing. He looks yeah. like a really Pez is. dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> when he turns his profile, he's a Pez dispenser. <laughs> he lost weight everywhere but the head. The head yeah. is like a fucking Easter Island head. The prosecution. <laughs> first of all, stay, stay it around after you fucked up so bad on the first swing with yeah. <laughs> that, that woman who wasn't raped. Oh, uh, Tawana. Yeah, Tawana Broly. Staying around after that is a major task. Yeah. yeah. You know, and He's been around forever. He's been relevant. Yeah, he's yeah. still out there pushing the whole thing. I guess his daughter got in trouble. She, yeah, uh... his daughter. I don't know what the fuck it was. And then Kid Rock was fighting with his daughter. And then uh, he was. Now, yeah, Kid Rock uh, is now saying that he's running for senator. He wants to be Senator yeah. Rock out of uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, Michigan, uh, Detroit, yeah. Michigan. Sharpton should uh, be uh, more se sentimental towards him because he's Chris Rock's brother. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, Kid Rock is the only hillbilly who grew up in an upper fucking class suburb. Oh, he did? Suburb is that true? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're nowhere near a rebel flag, dude. <laughs> he's nowhere near oh, okay. eight fucking states. <laughs> yeah, Detroit. He's in the great white north for Christ's <laughs> sake. He's coming off like he yeah. was a member of Skinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking... Yeah. 
yeah. five miles from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, you read the Sweet Home Alabama. How about Sweet Home Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. He's going to yeah. have some money. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. Done, what did you say? His dad owned a car lot or something? Yeah, he owned like a string of car lots. Yeah, yeah of course he did. That was always the rich kid. <laughs> it's my deal, Wade. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's my deal. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh well, my God, look at that. Wow. Well, Michael Moore, is still, he's on fucking Broadway, still hanging in, but they said the tickets oh. aren't moving. He's from yeah. Flint. It's the same. Yeah, he's from Flint. These guys, they've hung around for a long time now. You know, I'm a yeah. bit yeah. of a businessman. I am. Three years ago, I opened up a water park in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> 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 kids, skeletons were coming oh, down. Right. They were actually hurting their head when it hit the lead in the water. <laughs> I need 80,000 miles of Poland Spring. There's a fat kid going down the slide. <laughs> uh, kids are going down the slide and their skin's fucking coming uh, off. <laughs> Is 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 uh, is Michael Moore's uh, thing on Broadway just him standing there and pontificating? He's standing there and he's saying no, no cables and wires like that Spider-Man <laughs> show. That would be great. <laughs> it's your brother. Yeah, <laughs> the King and I. Yes. Yeah. But apparently he's against Trump, so that's very oh, shocking. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, but he's hung shocking. around for a long fucking time. Yeah, and Coulter has hung around for a long yeah. time. Yeah, she has. Absolutely. Now, do you think does she yes. does she believes or? She's kind of carny too. No, I think she believes. Yeah, yeah I know she, her pretty she well. She changes her opinion on a lot of things. Like yeah. she was all about Trump, and right. now every day she tweets how much of the wall is built She's right. immigration. and how many yeah. days have gone by. Right. She only voted for Trump and only supports him because of his immigration stance. Right. And since he's not building the wall, she fuck it. She's pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Not so. only that is, but he's making deals with Democrats about yeah. all the. Stuff that he they should uh, they should do a play together, uh, Coulter and Michael Moore, and stand next to each other, call it ten. <laughs> 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 Michael Moore, Michael Moore is going to get to the point where he dresses in a cat suit and comes out in the crowd and starts pawing at people. He needs That'd a lot of strings great. just to stand there. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Here's Michael Moore singing memory. <laughs> Michael, we don't want any more. <laughs> Midnight, and I'm at the Jack in the Box. That's it. He just t takes a scene from every big show and, and does it door. one night. He's fucking Grease, yeah. uh, West Side Story, whatever. Well, I, I tried to, see to do that with, with Hamilton was a hit. I tried to do a couple of plays with a black theme because it was a big hit. So I had Phantom of the Oprah is obvious. But I had, uh, my best one was Rent is Late. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get any more, any more on their feet. <laughs> One rehearsal. Uh, Has anyone seen uh, Hamilton here? Have you seen Hamilton? No, I, yeah. seen Hamilton. I have Big not hit. seen that Big one hit. either. Gonna sweep the Tonys. I'm yeah. not for cultural appropriation. I, I saw I saw Schoolhouse Rock. That's as close as I don't uh, want to be educated. But it's educational. I don't want to be educated. <laughs> rap. Schoolhouse Rock is where Cats was. I, you know. uh, now and forever at the Winter Garden Theater. Right. It'd be funny if all the kids were in cat suits. Uh, what yeah. is Rum Tum Tugger doing at Schoolhouse Rock? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Winter Garden Theater only reminds me that the building across the street is where Rupert Pupkin kept going in. That's right. To right. talk to Jerry Langford. Sandra Bernard. Yeah, yeah. That, that building there. Every time I pass it, I just think of him sitting out there with oh, his, so his sandwich yeah. and Sandra Bernhardt telling him he got kicked out. It's so no, funny. No, no. I did. They, they showed me out. I did not get kicked out. <laughs> no, no. Jerry Lewis playing an asshole or Jerry Lewis. <laughs> The late great Jerry Lewis, yes. My favorite an is uh, when he shows up at Jerry's house. Yeah. And he's oh. like, "Hey, have you broke a hundred yet?" Like they're all buddies. Buddies, right, buddy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Talking about golf. <laughs> what are you doing here, Jerry? I'm here for the party. I'm here. We're here to work. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's movie. so oh. embarrassing. Yeah. This is a great sketch idea. You invite everybody over, <laughs> and, then you act like and the girl in that is De Niro's real wife. Yeah. Our real what was uh, that? had a baby mama. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, two with her, and uh, one is an actress. But uh, yeah, that she's beautiful. Oh, she yeah. was so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. No, no. <laughs> Je when, when he said, do you know you're a, an idiot? He yeah. goes, now, I don't care you talk about me like that, but <laughs> right. don't talk to him. Oh, right. so <laughs> He's just the, yeah. the professional comedian. I remember that was like the first time you saw a chick with ink on her arm. Yeah. Right. I mean, you're just like, oh. That's she a was badass. sleazy. Yeah. That was yeah. a badass back then. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was pretty sleazy yeah. uh, in that, but uh, it came off well. She wore it well. But Sandra <laughs> Bernhardt was so fucking great yeah. in that yeah. movie. 
Yeah, yeah I, oh, okay. I can't believe she would get more work after that. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, she... really psycho, uh, psychopathic in that one. Because she's so unique. Like, there's no one else like right. her. Like, her sense of humor, her style. She's... And that whole thing where she's yeah. just fucking talking to him. I'm like a crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like a crazy. You, and, you've done it. And, yeah. And and say we do it right here on the table. Wouldn't that be wild? Oddly hot. <laughs> the yeah, entire yeah. oddly hot thing yeah. that she pulled out of that. I started jerking off to that scene. I finished on De Niro. <laughs> 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 As she got more naked, I started looking at De Niro. More. <laughs> you guys are still big De Niro fans? So. Well, I think he ruined his legacy. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to tell you, it's like, yeah, yeah. no one knows of a raging bull anymore. Yeah. No, and, and you watch some of those classics, and they're just, you can't imagine anyone else doing that role. Right. Right. And then now it's just, <laughs> he's doing that. Look, right. I'm, uh, I'm an intern, but I'm old. It's right. always that guy. Oh, oh, the please. intern, it literally looked like they, they, he was, they yelled action, he was sleeping, and they went, Bob. <laughs> Bob, Bob uh, wake up. Even some of the other ones, like uh, like Midnight Run, was a oh, funny movie. It's classic. comedy. I love He's it. in a comedy. That's the kind of comedy you'd expect De Niro to be in. Yeah. Um, and I understand, look, people get older, it's different. Uh, he can't do a lot of those roles anymore. But at what point do you, yeah, forfeit yeah. your legacy so you could still work at, at that well, age? Well, I think it's, to, it's to, to make sure you keep taking Naomi Campbell to uh, Paris oh, on, a, on a private God. jet. It's a lifestyle thing. Oh. I mean, the money in television, when you hang out with people, like Ray Romano could pay Al Pacino and De Niro to do a play in his backyard. <laughs> Every week. That's how much money he has compared to De Niro. Their movie stars are famous, but they're not as rich as TV guys. So, mo yeah, movies, yeah. you're not making as much as Not uh, even close TV. to TV. Right? TV wow. syndication is right. insane. Romano, Seinfeld, and because it, it keeps coming in. It keeps coming in. Never ends. Yeah. You still but get that mad TV money? No. <laughs> well, yeah. It keeps I, coming in? No. I don't have the deal they had. Oh, <laughs> son yeah. of a bitch. But yeah, can you, you imagine own. if you still had money coming in from old radio shows that you did? You're oh, like, my oh, my God. God. Absolutely. It's yeah. like, well, yeah. yeah. Like, but oh, those things just get tossed out. We, yeah. Like, like they were cat <laughs> shit. Well, it's very current. <laughs> it's current. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got a royalty check from the time uh, we had a phoner from Arnold. <laughs> It's great. Yeah, that, it just it goes away. You're right. Yeah. Just take it out with the garbage. Well, Eddie guys... from Queens was in traffic. <laughs> Cruz, Cruz has money. I think Schwarzenegger oh, well, has I'm money. I'm not right? talking about that level. Yeah. I'm talking about like De Niro. Like they're almost broke in 1980 because oh, they, they were only God. getting those movies made no money. Yeah. Uh, but you're talking about a billion dollars that Seinfeld has, like a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah cuz it's not De Niro selling fucking Goodfellas. But it's also they own it. They got that uh, you get the 6 years and you got a yeah. popular show for God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Christ. That's some crazy money right yeah. there. Yeah, Seinfeld money is just insane. But I I don't know if a lot of people got that kind of cuz we were talking earlier it's still just Friends and Seinfeld and reruns. Yeah, and yeah. it's fucking twenty well, some so years. Many channels, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. I mean, if you go to who's doing the local fucking like Channel Five, you're gonna get four fucking Seinfelds in a day. Yeah, and fucking Daily the other channel yeah. has four fucking I Friends. Do, I do, I do love those stories though. If you hear how the entire cast of Gilligan's Island <laughs> was just broke, <laughs> yeah. they died broke, and that fucking show was the Seinfeld of the seventies. Yeah, it was. Like it that was. was on every day, multiple times a yeah. day. And there's you know Gilligan having to open a mall with that hat on. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Gilligan's... He's greeting valleys with Mickey Mantle. <laughs> Gilligan's <laughs> agent was also his real estate agent. It's the same fucking guy. <laughs> But I want to do this reboot <laughs> of Gilligan's Island where it's just the two girls, and then there's five fucking little crosses that they've made. And they're just sitting, <laughs> two old ladies. We're not going to get off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you remember when the I skipper would, died? I would so watch yeah, that. Yeah. Gilligan's Staten Island. Oh, our <laughs> last <laughs> hope was the professor, but he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. Well, it all depends on the role, too, in show business. Like, uh, Marlon Brando would not have been better than Alan Hale as a skipper. Yeah. <laughs> but Alan Hale was a godfather. That would have sucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking true. Yeah, Bob yeah. Brandon's not gonna make that work. Yeah. No. Hey, no. buddy, listen, we got the. <laughs> I understand the boat landed with some astronauts, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, buddy, I want the top haddock. <laughs> I, I'm not going to make it. I saw a Russian sub out there. I yeah. swear. <laughs> Gilligan's Island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> <laughs> put an ice bucket on my head, sweetie. <laughs> just, I'm feeling a little hot. <laughs> Can you get Ginger to put an ice bucket? <laughs> I just feel hot. I feel hot. The <laughs> Gilligan's <laughs> Island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Gilligan, you're Ever. an errand boy. Uh, <laughs> sent by clerks. Sent by grocery <laughs> clerks. Are there groceries? <laughs> Have you ever seen like the director's cut of that when they're in that fucking French? Yeah, house? yeah, yeah. I, it was just oh, on yeah, the other yeah. day, and I'm going, "What the? How fucking high were they? Unbelievable, unbelievable. When they shot this, it's yeah. an entire movie unto itself. Yeah, is that the Hearts of Darkness? The heart of the, the documentary? Well, the about? documentary is in it, yeah, but then they call. I think it's Redux. Or, uh, or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Redux. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. it's just like they're going down the island. Then they get off and they're in this nice French estate. Right, they were maniacs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When they when they left the USO show yeah. with the with the girls and everything, they went back into the river and that was how the movie uh, continued. Right. Yeah. With right. this version, they go back, they fuck the strippers that were on stage at yeah. the USO yeah. show. Yeah, 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 it's a crazy, like long, long scene. Those right. were maniacs making movies about maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Was, yeah. The amount of money. Remember they constantly like every week in the news. Newspaper, you'd hear about how much money Coppola was spending. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was on, broke on that that fucking movie on Coke alone. Yes, Just yes. Well, Coke he alone. was broke at the end of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another one. Yeah, broke. Broke. Yeah. Making That's apocalypse now. So he had to do the Dracula. Yeah, and <laughs> this is a guy who had money from The Godfather, which was both like, of them. Yeah. yeah, both of them. Yeah, it was like the fucking two biggest fucking. Back to back movies of all time. Yeah. Godfather three. Yeah. That's why we got Huge. that. Yeah, and then I, uh, I say the Godfather yeah. trilogy on the CD or DVD is the best thing to get for a party because you watch one and two and do coke off a of three. <laughs> 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 I always, whenever I watch the Godfathers, I break it up with the conversation. Right. I try to do it in the exact way that he made films. <laughs> That's easy. The, uh, yeah. Have you have you ever sat through the uh, epic, the whole thing in chronological order? Yes. With the additional scenes. Yeah. You, you need a good yeah eight ten hours right uh, right, uh, right to right. watch that. Uh, but it's pretty fascinating. You, you actually get to see where Clemenza gets the cannolis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sits down and eats. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. How you doing over there? Sometimes <laughs> editing is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I got of spots on the west side? Uh, good yeah. spots. Maybe yeah. make you disappear. But it is true. No matter how you see a film, you never like the director's cut more. You're just like, well, the first, right, way, right, the first right. way I see it is the way I see it. Like that, I don't want to go back and see Blade Runners where other... Shit's no. happening. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't wanna, I don't want to see the version of First Wives Club with John Stewart. In it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic story that he got cut out of the movie. Yeah, he was in a big part of that movie. Maybe that's got, why he was so angry. Yeah, at me. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> John Stewart. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the the new Blade Runner is coming out, and I guess yeah. Harrison Ford's in that right. um, as the same character. As the guy who dies on set? So is he. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's his new thing, too, right? Uh, to come in and put the character to bed. Why not? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Why yes. not? Just kill off every single version. <laughs> right. Uh, what Indiana Jones has to be at some I point. Know. He's got to. Uh... Did you see Harrison Ford yesterday in front of the tunnel? Fucking classic. What do you do? <laughs> so no. this yeah. is. Uh, the Lincoln Tunnel? Yeah. So they're if he trying, traffic, I'm, I'm taking him out. They're trying to fucking <laughs> leave town. And his driver uh, gets in a fucking dead lane, right? So go uh, to the video. Uh, so Harrison Ford see? fucking jumps out of the car. Yeah. Is it the Lincoln Tunnel that they reckless? It's the Lincoln Tunnel, yeah. Did he run through Midtown. the tunnel with a big boulder chasing him? That would have been cool. All the way to Jersey. <laughs> but can you imagine you're fucking heading back to Jersey and you see Harrison Ford? That would be oh. pretty awesome. In the middle of the fucking street. That is people great. Which Fuck way to go? It if was I, the, it was Midtown Tunnel. Midtown, oh, Midtown. Okay. Oh, right, going, oh, going out to Long yeah. Island. Oh, yeah. little Harrison Ford you spotting it, out there. There's in an ad in front of it, but it's coming up now. Okay. Yeah, A-listers. They don't go to. They don't go to Jersey. They go out to the Hamptons. He's been maybe going to Silver Cup Studios to do a little work. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, Silver yeah, Cup, perhaps. yeah. Which is where I shot Crashing. I'll bring it back. Uh, I'll bring back that plug. Uh, <laughs> Are you excited about season two? I actually am. Yeah. yeah, I think it's better than season one. Wow. Right? As far as my performance, uh, uh, Chris, give oh, it a pause uh, first. Okay. All right, let's get into it now. So you got to turn up the audio on it, too, Chris. You actually hear uh, somebody? Yeah. I wouldn't even recognize Harrison Ford. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> What's he doing? He's directing traffic. Oh, come on. 
That's, that's self-aggrandizement. Oh, when the girl walks by. <laughs> he wants attention. <laughs> they don't oh give a shit. My <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a Ariana Grande? <laughs> oh, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, I get that's it. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Why what would is he, he doing? feel the need to do that? Uh, he's an asshole. You, he's you drunk. Just, he's so here's what happened. They're stuck in the thing. He jumps out. He starts directing people out because the people behind oh, him are backing great. up. He's a great and director. You can hear him if you get on the right. <laughs> oh, clip. oh, you can. And he's fucking telling people, "Come on, go." He's drunk. He's like That's fucking pissed. Old school. Yeah. He was loaded at that one uh, Star Wars premiere. I think he's drinking yeah. too much. Luke Skywalker took my toll at the Williamsburg before. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> he can't fit in the thing though. They're Mark Hamill, put on a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah. He's he was old school like uh, construction guy. He was. He yeah, was, he was a I think yeah. he still has that in him. Yeah. You know, swinging a hammer. He remembers right the uh, the old days. Directed traffic at something like that. And uh, you know the th he was also they said like. Fucking working with the doors, doing something for the doors. Really? Yeah. What are the Hans... old days? You mean like the group, the doors? Yeah, or the doors. Hanging like... doors. No. He was, <laughs> no. <laughs> he was <laughs> hanging doors. He was fucking. I don't know. Yeah. He was rat holing fucking oh, heroin no. for That's Jim Morrison. Was he really? <laughs> yeah. You got him some bad shit. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> the last fucking batch. I don't know about this. Give it a try. Yeah. Give it a taste. Go Let me know tub. what you think of it. Go in the tub. <laughs> yeah, stay in the tub. You know, it might end up drooling. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> this is Harrison Ford Brown. <laughs> that is always about uh, junkies when people are like, I don't know, this might, just give it to me. Just <laughs> fucking, <laughs> don't it tell might me. be too strong. <laughs> yeah. It better be. Yeah. You know, for your uh, for your uh, listeners out yeah. there that recall uh, Eastside Dave McDonald, yeah, he is also on uh, Compound Media. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah, does yeah. his Dude. own show uh, on Tuesday nights at uh, seven p.m. Uh, his show starts, and he's just a giant uh, fan of Harrison Ford and Star Wars, that whole thing. Right. He's I, I, I go in there, and he's just so excited to talk Star Wars. Yeah, that's fun. Every <laughs> single day. That's fun in your face. His, his <laughs> tweets, his Facebook posts are all him, like, uh, photoshopped into Star Wars. His kids play with lightsabers. Uh -huh. It's this whole thing that he just adores uh, Star Wars. It is... Um... Madness. At a certain point, <laughs> it, it, any art that he took in stopped there. Yes. Yeah. He uh, honestly, uh, he's a little old for a, a fanboydom right. to that extent. But yeah. it is true that certain people, they're like, even if it's like their bands, like it stops now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I like The Who, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, I, I've, I've been a little uh, disappointed in myself for not yeah. uh, seeing what the new music is all about. I stopped. The latest, I think, middle of two thousands, right? Maybe. Now I have no clue. Anything that happens. Now, you see, I, here's what happened. New music. We, our generation, we fucking said rock and roll will never die. Long live rock. We believed it. We did not think a generation would rather fucking watch a guy play a laptop. <laughs> and make it sound like a fucking sneaker in a dryer. Yes. Right. <laughs> but there's still... Yeah. The thing is, though, is, like, the popular music will always be the popular music. You know what I mean? Like, the underground scene of rock is always the best case I, scenario. Yeah, but you can't go looking. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I have no time to look. <laughs> Bring it to us. Yeah. Put it in mass well. meat. You know, no one had to go looking for The Who or Bruce Springsteen. You know what I mean? Like, they were there. Let's fucking bring it up. Bring it's just, you know what it is, too? It's just more convenient as I'm driving to hit Classic Rewind or yeah. CBS FM yeah. than it is for me to search out something I'm kind of, you know, oh, I'm interested in new music. First of all, why should I be? I really don't have, when I was working at AAF with Opie, yeah. we had to know right. the new music of the mid-90s. Yeah, I, I went through that, too. And, and I did like it. I mean, yeah. I loved, like, Alice in Chains and Soundgarden yeah. and shit like that. But uh, now, like, there's no reason for me, aside from picking up junior high school girls, uh. there's, it is too, really <laughs> disgusting. No, uh, but there's no reason for me to know new music. Yeah. So you just kind of don't, I don't know. That's it. I don't care. That's the end of it. Yeah. Off That's it goes. It. I'm an old fogey. But, you know, my, my dad never came into my room. Hey, buddy, what are you listening to? Who yeah. is this fucking is shit this? right here? Yeah. Who's this? Huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, Devo, huh? <laughs> yeah, <what> Devo. Is... <laughs> <laughs> that uh, yeah, that I I watch that show uh, Catfish on MTV sometimes. Yeah, and uh, at the bottom of the screen, a song, a very you know 
nice yeah. pleasant song will come on and they'll put the name of the song and the artist at the bottom and i swear i've never looked and said oh i know that band like i don't right. even know the bands never know the songs or anything i've never heard of the band so and i remember like older people right. saying that and uh it's is alice cougar coming uh, to town <laughs> <laughs> but i i also have like i'll be watching tmz that's a guy I, i'll be watching tmz and i don't know who any of the stars are sometimes like yeah. we don't have mass like there's like i know who adele is you know what i mean that's right but you could be a rap star and I have no idea who you are <laughs> right now, and I'm sure you're a multimillionaire. Well, they're probably right across the yeah. hall, right? Yeah, I see those guys all the time. I'm always happy when I recognize somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Sway gets people every day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they all come in, in with another fucking 80 people. You yes, there's I mean? a huge entourage uh, yeah. with rappers. And uh, they frosted the windows, I see. Yeah. They, they don't want you it. peering in. Well, the, what happened was they want for their pictures. They, uh, they, didn't they want do the... straight video. Also, rappers are constantly videotaping each yeah, other. There's a, yeah, there's a camera crew always. Pictures are flashing. Like, there's yeah. like at least seven people recording. Uh, you sure those moment. are uh, pictures flashing and not the, <laughs> the muzzle flash of a firearm? What was the station that they used to fucking shoot it out all the time? Oh, that was a, like Hot, 90, hot, hot 97. Ni hot 97. Hot 97. Yeah. Where they would fucking light each other up during oh, a fucking. Oh, my God. Yeah. Every day it was like when uh, Don Corleone went to get fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would happen? Someone would come in to play their record, and like, hey, they would show up un unannounced, and they couldn't understand why I couldn't go on the air right then. You know what I mean? Like, and they got a little disrespected. Yeah, they, got, they felt disrespected. <laughs> a little disrespected. They started to fucking go at it. And you have to start uh, slinging some lead. Yeah. Get your respect back. All right, good. Trump said he's going down to uh, Mar-a-Lago on Thursday to check around his shit. Somebody told him that his shed blew down the street. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to get right back down Is there. Is that it? He's got to uh, clean out the basement? That would be great to just see him down there. Yeah. Him and the first lady <laughs> are uh, picking up boxes. <laughs> oh, these are pictures of Don Jr. Oh, no. Did you see when he was trying to help load trucks? And he didn't oh, know it was great. It was fucking great. It, it, yeah, pickup trucks are, are coming up. He's putting one box in, <laughs> and then he's like, thank you, have a good time. <laughs> like, he just has no idea what to say in those situations. <laughs> have fun. He's fun? Like, I'm surviving. He said he handed it through the window. He put it in through the window <laughs> instead of in the back of the cup. In the bed. He's... But they fucking forced him <laughs> to go back down and, and like, hug babies and you know yes. what I mean? Like, uh, we're still doing that shit that, where... That's you know, not obviously pandering. Like, yeah. like, I look at all that now, and it's so obvious what right. they're doing. Uh, whenever you see a sincere moment out of any of these people, you're shocked. Right. Or Pence acting like he cares about anything. Oh, please. All he's going to is like, you think they're going to get rid of him? Because uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go. I uh, I do think they uh, they really were on top of this hurricane thing with uh, oh yeah both of them like yeah, it worked out they really were like I, I guess what Trump sent a, an aircraft carrier yeah over to the Florida coast <laughs> just to get, we, just to, to blow up the hurricane I <laughs> yeah. think can we do that is that possible <laughs> <laughs> all right we gotta wrap this up oh my uh, God I love it where the, did Artie go well Artie I think uh, oh, here, there he, here he is. comes. Okay. Uh, he'll be here long enough. Were you nervous for him, Gil? <laughs> yeah. Right, nervous we're wrapping this up, buddy. I just, uh, just want to great Fred Norris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. You're back in. Fuck Anthony. That's You're back it. In. Fuck. Uh, Freddie is, uh, God damn, one of the greatest guys. Yeah, ever. he's one of the. I'm going to have to, uh, the Anthony and Baba Booey show. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That doesn't flow. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That Baba doesn't Booey flow. and Anthony, I don't know who goes first. No, no, I never get to go first. <laughs> your whole career. That's one of my favorite moments in the history of my life is goofing on Gary for that first first pitch oh yeah. that pitch was stunningly bad <laughs> one of the worst first pitches ever his kids found out they had two mommies that day. <laughs> ron i love you man oh, oh yeah you, buddy. you're the best and you, i'll see you at the stand coming up right i'll see you at the yeah. stand and Aunt, me and you at the stand i'll thursday see you thursday night, night. awesome All right. Make sure you plug it on your show so yes you i will i uh, I'll, I'll come by too and hang so uh, uh, i'd love to do that yeah all right so uh thursday night i'll be at the stand and look for more dates with Artie there. To me, it's an amazing thing yeah. to fucking watch Artie Lang oh, work yeah. out in a room that oh, size. It's you. crazy. <laughs> I had the best fucking one. I, him doing that in Florentine was putting together a special. That's <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. It's a fun time. A comedy's yeah. a fun scene now. Because yeah, the guy's like you. 
Uh, uh, girls like you. That's <laughs> very nice. <laughs> All right, AA show Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. East, compoundmedia.com. And then we'll see you guys thank again you, in 1974. And thank you. <laughs> Ladies.